Hey everyone, welcome back to Rahu and today we'll be diving into this new exciting project which is how to make a 6 cell channel transmitter using this Arduino Nano and also I'll be showing you how good this transmitter is in controlling RC projects such as RC vehicles and RC drones or any other RC project that you may have in your mind so where's the delay? Let's get started As you can see, I have uh, laid out the components out on the table. If you want to take uh, notes of all the items, you can pause the video. Moving on, we will be placing the joystick module on the PC board to roughly mark out the locations where we need to drill for the legs of the joystick modules and later we gonna solder those joystick module on the PC board. While soldering the joystick module on the PC board, make sure that no solder contacts are uh, overlapping each other. Similarly, we'll uh, cut the female headers and place it on the PC board and solder it there too. Also, we need to make a hole for the to two toggle switches below the joystick module so that uh, we can flip flop some functionalities later down cut a female header of uh, length 4 and solder it above the place where the Arduino will be going for the OLED display and similarly we need to drill a hole for the antenna to sit on the PC board uh, above the HC12 module and similarly we gonna cut a female header where we can plug our HC12 module on the PC board. Make sure all the connections are tight especially the antenna connector to the HC12 uh, module and connecting the 9 volt uh, power line to the VE and, and then the ground of the Arduino pin respectively. Place all the components and connect the, all the necessary connections according to the circuit diagram. Powering on for the first time and uploading the code and it seems that uh, our board is working and it's, it is showing a display and it functions too and the joystick module works too including the toggle switches as you can see right here and I have added a uh, disarm and arm feature for added safety. Okay so our uh, board works with uh, USB plugged in next we need to add uh, the back plate for added safety and also where we can stick our 9 volt battery too and before moving on we will be testing the remote with the 9 volt battery on without any external power so that it, we, we are 100% sure that it works with the 9 volt battery and as you can see here the transmitter works with the 9 volt battery and we gonna just simply arm and disarm it and test our joystick uh, module to see if, it, if it's working or not and it's working and we'll be moving on to the next step which is the receiver part okay so moving on to the receiver part we'll be cutting female headers for the arduino nano and we're gonna solder it to the pc board on on a side so that we have place for the other components uh, similarly we're gonna uh, add heat sinks to our 5 volt regulators which will be powering our servos and the arduino nano and making hole for the xt60 connector uh, in a pass through manner so that we can later connect a lipo battery of 223s and power our receiver side while soldering the x 6 connector make sure that the soldering blobs are not too thick also we'll be needing to do one thing uh, we need to solder three three straight lines of male headers 
on the Arduino's uh, D0 to D12 sides so that we can plug in any servo or motor so that we can control them uh, and the order of the pins should be like the signal, the plus and the minus so that it is universally compatible with any other servo which is out on there on market. While connecting the signal line, make sure that you leave the pin 2 and 3 as we gonna need those two pins to communicate with our H12 module. Also similarly drill hole for the HC12 module's antenna and uh, solder the female head as well we will be placing our HC12 module close to the antenna. Also while soldering the power rails uh, to the components out on the DC board make sure that no other solder pads are overlapping or it may cause a electrical short circuit. Ok so testing time uh, we gonna plug in all our components. One by one, first we will uh, add the Arduino Nano and the HC12 module along with the antenna and <clears throat> we are gonna test it out with a 3S battery and uh, no smokes or short circuit so far so our circuit is all good and we are gonna plug in a servo to test out our servo and before testing our servo we need to do one thing we need to upload the code and bring our transmitter here and you, as you can see that Upon powering on the transmitter that our servo is working and yeah it is responsive too and moving on uploading the full code and we are gonna test it out with multiple servos and one BLDC motor so that we can confirm that our transmitter and receiver is working as per we intended or not. Ok so disarming and arming the remote and as you can see that we are able to control the BLDC motor and the servos individually and all of them are working and pretty much responsive to our inputs and disarming the remote to connect LEDs for the toggle switches so that I can show you the function of the toggle switches easier in the easy way. Okay, so as you can see that the toggle switches are working and and maybe I heated this toggle switch a bit too much and this is giving me some trouble and I need I will be needing to replace this toggle switch later down the line. Except for this uh, overheated toggle switch, everything is working uh, fine. And As you can see that we have finished this uh, 6 channel transmitter and receiver project and throughout this project we faced a few difficulties like such as that jittering uh, servo issue we solved that to an extent and uh, pushed this Arduino Nano to its absolute limit and if you have liked this uh, project feel free to leave a like on this video and if you have any future video suggestion or facing issue around this project you can comment it down below and this is it for this video we will see in the next one